This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. You know what? If you get too close to me with that camera, I'll take it out of your hand and ram it down your throat. Yeah, the federal government is about equally fascistic now as in 2015 as, as what it was in 2004. It's not really worse. If anything, it's a little bit hamstrung uh, by the opposition that Obama has been getting. There's been a little bit of a Clinton-esque type thing going on, you know, where you have uh, gridlock between the Congress and the and the president. It hasn't been as good as in the 90s, and I don't feel like the government has been kept at its, you know, the same size, you know, like it was in the 90s. And the surveillance apparatus is a lot worse. But, you know, even the guy in charge of that surveillance apparatus is calling himself a libertarian. Lindsey Graham is making noises in that direction. These are the most rabid authoritarians I can think of in the country. I can't name two people that are more rabid than these guys. But they've both recognized that there is a paradigm shift going on. They're lying, of course, but the fact that they're lying about this means that they've recognized something that if I saw it, I would suspect myself of wishful thinking. We also want to look at what hasn't happened. People, you know, were expecting by now there would have probably been roundups of free staters or false flag attacks committed in their name or violent efforts to shut down the movement and you know, there have been some of these things have happened on small scales here and there but unless the authorities are doing a really good job of hiding their infiltration efforts by and large the movement has been able to coexist with its federal overlords and its other overlords uh, fairly successfully and very openly Again, I, I may be focusing too much on what I see right in front of me. The situation in New Hampshire is a lot better than the situation in some place like Utah, probably. But there are positive things happening there, too. Well, one of the positive things happening around the country is that perception that things are getting worse, actually, that the government is getting worse. And I guess the government is kind of, you know, at the federal level, it is getting worse. But again, what's happening with the government isn't the whole story. Life, overall, despite all the problems, seems to be continuing to get better. The Bitcoin revolution and the 3D printing revolution and the YouTube revolution, followed by the coming Internet decentralization revolution, I hope, these things are just happening faster than the government growth, I think. I get that impression. I mean, the government's uh, decision not to uh, try and stop Bitcoin, not not to try and arrest end users and so forth. All these things are keeping the economy afloat for now and allowing, you know, the, the way a lot of technology is being allowed to flower in some instances. It's just, it's allowing things to get better faster than they're getting worse. The government is starting to lose control and it seems like they are reacting more the way uh, 1990 Moscow handled the situation as opposed to the way 1989 Beijing handled the situation. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.